Alright guys, so here we are. <laughs> We're not eliminated yet. Um, we are in the loser's bracket, so what what the structure is going to be now is um, I have to fight um, two other people in this loser loser's bracket, and the winner of this bracket, you know, the best the best out of the three people, um, will have a chance to go to the semis. And what happens is the loser, the worst from the winner's bracket, will fight the winner of the loser's bracket, and whoever wins that battle will go to the semis, the semifinals, and then the other one the other one is eliminated. So for us to make it to semifinals, we have to win this loser's bracket and win the battle against the worst of the winner's bracket. So yeah. Today we're gonna be battling uh, Brain Coke. We've fought him recently, and so yeah, here we are. Uh, it's still best out of three. So yeah, let's go with it. Let's see how this works. Um, yeah, he's the one with the cat and the uh, embers of chaos. Oh, flaming stream, boosting elixir. So yeah, we fought this guy before. <laughs> Just gotta close my window. Alright, let's see. So there's a sweet cap. I think this is the better play. Actually... No, okay, this should... If I put it in front of this, it would've been better because... He could have uh, Link Golems and he could spawn. Uh, he could like buff this and then... My frog just dies. So that was actually a bad misplay by me. I mean, okay, he still buffs things anyway. So there's his boosting elixir that's uh, 6 strength really easily. So it's not great. Uh... Okay, we're gonna go with this. And then we're gonna protect our little corner here. Actually, no, I should have done a convert trap. Although we have one here, we could have made a better one and put our frog here. And even if he doesn't attack these two, he'll probably go in here. And then I can just convert those two. But I guess this is okay. Like he'll probably want to attack this. And then I'll convert, uh, I'll convert both of them. Hopefully. Otherwise, I'm gonna play Amber Hides to drain this. It's gonna be more strength, I believe. That's 10. And this is 8. Yeah, so I'm gonna use Amber Hides. And then I'll cycle out Mark, mark the Spray. Yeah, there it is. Mm hmm. So, yeah, Amber Hides for sure. Unless we get a two mana card right here. See if we can. No, we don't. Okay, so we have to go with the Amber Heights play. That's a big. It's a lot of damage. He gave me more strength to drain. And we didn't waste uh, the poison effect. So he still took an extra damage. That's good. really cold today. So there's his Embers of Chaos again. But we don't necessarily like we can just convert it again. <laughs> just just do that. <laughs> we we always have it in hand for when he plays it. He's pro I don't know, I think he's still gonna go offensive, which kinda sucks for us actually. I don't necessarily have a good way to deal with it. I can only really deal Two damage. If he's going on offensive, I'll cycle this away and hopefully he gets something better. Um, yeah, like maybe if we got if we got um, beast of beast of terror. Oh, why did he do that? It's better if he put it. Okay, well, not the best play by him. There's my beast of terror. So.
Mm, I don't want to waste. Okay, we're we're. Okay, we made a mistake. <laughs> um, I forgot. Oh, this is bad. I forgot that my frog only poisons once. <laughs> I haven't played any equals in a while. Oh man. Okay, that was bad. I really hope that it poisoned the delegator, so then we could. Use our brood sages here and would spawn frogs here. Oh, only two even. Okay, terrible misplay. I forgot about um <laughs> the equal levels. <laughs> I I forgot. I just I genuinely forgot. So I made some bad misplays there. We will see now. It's harder for him to deal with. I think we'll cycle Ubus away. Depends. I'll want to play Toad. And then I think. No, okay, we don't get a two we don't get a two mana card. So hopefully we'll just see. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, two strings. Okay. We're gonna go with the Ubis play. Yeah, we're gonna use Ubus here. Cool, that's not too bad. He's really going on the offensive. Uh, he has Blue Sail Raiders, which is a uh, 3 strength, and his Windmakers, which is uh, 2 strength. So he could actually kill me right now. He has the mana for it. Because of the terrible misplay with the delegators. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> it was not great. But for some reason, I was like really greedy and I wanted the, um, the extra strength that that uh, green prototype was gonna give me. So, yeah, it wasn't great. It was not a great play. It's taking a while though. There's this Windmaker, so I put in my base. No? Cancels out. Embers. Okay, well, um... Huh. Well, I, I uh, convert that again. <laughs> yeah, just convert that again. And then we just go with this. We can't take another damage because then... Then that means that uh, his blue sail raiders is enough to kill me. So here, we got some defense going on. So that's really good. We haven't placed our venom fall, and we haven't even used mark the spray. But I think I'm gonna cycle venom fall and keep mark the spray, because I think we have... That's a lot of value. I think we have a uh, copper skin ranger after we uh, cycle this one away. Like, there's a decent chance for it. Oh, okay, we're not cycling it away. Yeah, well, I got some, um... Yeah, I got some board presents, dude. <laughs> and then I can use Mark the Spray now. Just give him the think. The think. <laughs> we can play these three, very good. I just love converting his ember his embers of chaos. <laughs> it, it, the ability doesn't get the trigger. Hmm, what does he have? Anything good? Delegators? And then Um but okay, sweet cat delegators. Probably. Okay. That's not bad. I convert both of those, so poor guy. Oh wait, not both. I'm forgetting my levels again. I'm really sorry guys. 
I'm really sorry. I'm forgetting my levels. Uh, this one spawns two. And then I convert this. And then we just kill that. I'll keep Ubas. We need to kill him eventually. Okay, we're, we're gonna give him this. Because <laughs> he, he gave it to us. We gotta retaliate. Yeah, I'm I'm I I am sloppy with my equals. I my uh my blood ministers is like level three, so it, it's actually able to convert the five strengths. So ugh. anyway, need to get my mind off of that. We could play uh these three. That's good. It puts so many um unit types. We got a hero type and a dragon type. It also uh, contributes a toad type, but I'm gonna guess at least one toad is gonna survive in a reasonable spot. Another good value, but it's, it's okay. Like, we got so much value here. Okay, we have a rodent. That's an extra unit type. Oh boy. Actually, let's move this away. Let's get amber hides. Oh. Well, I mean... The works too, I guess. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go offensive. So you got one, two, three, four, okay. Four damage to his base. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um our poison tower, obviously, big MVP. He just, he's just, um, he's just a really, he has a very aggressive deck. So in terms of defense, he doesn't have much. His flaming stream he can only use so often. And yeah, it's pretty much what he got for him. So it's tough right now. Put him in a tough spot. I think we win though. Yeah. GG. So there, <laughs> we managed to win. Even though I made some bad misplays. Yeah. Um, we just, yeah, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what happened, how we managed to win that, but I'm not complaining, I'm gonna fight him again, oops, alright, second game, let me cycle this guy out, hello, and I waste a turn. That that really sucks. Oh my god. I think I want to play this. I'm not sure though. If he places two units, I won't. Okay, so I will. Move that away. Hopefully he places a unit here and then it gets poisoned so we can drain it. Hmm. This is a bit greedy, not gonna lie. I it's better to just have board control and secure the board before placing a venom fall. But obviously that's harder to pull off. Uh this play is kinda just um us gambling right now. Hmm, poison this. Please? Thank you. I'm gonna keep Mark the Spray because we'll, we might get value from it still. Unless he plays Blue Sail here. He can play it right here. But he won't have a front line. And if he doesn't have a front line, then hopefully when I cycle this, I have Brood's, Brood Sages so I can combo with Helio Troopers. And that's just so much board control. Oh, okay. You could do that too. Not necessarily the best play. Oh man. 
So you got perfect mana. We move our front line all the way up there and we kill his. That's nine nine value. It's very good. I'll probably play Beast of Terror, but I think I'll want to play Toad. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe Beast of Terror. He has a lot of uh, constructs. Like you could play um, Green Prototypes, uh, Finite Loopers, Debug, Debug Loggers. So you could play Green Prototypes and then Debug Loggers here. But in that sense, I'd probably use Toad because the Debug dies here because of my 5 strength. And then I'll just move forward with Halo Troopers and then use Toad on it. On the T oh okay, yes, Link Golems. Um, Windmaker, sure. It dies though. <laughs> I don't want to BM him. I really don't. I'm not that. Okay, sometimes I am. Sometimes I am that kind of guy. I know, I know, but whatever. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Cool, so I'll cycle away Venomfall, I think. Yeah, we'll probably want to do that. I'm thinking of going a bit greedy, because like, look at how much, um, how far of a lead we have right now. I could just place this somewhere up here to uh, conserve our front line and then get a lot of value with beasts. The ideal, ideally. Otherwise, then I'll cycle Venomfall away, I'll see if we get Ubus or something. Ubus would be nice. I'll combo with Fell Flares, because it's an extra uh, unit type, Frostling. That's good for us. There's this blue sail. You know, in a way, it's better for him not to just kill my unit here, because when this moves forward, I can just put a unit inside. Should put it here. Okay, that is not a good play by him, because look at this. This frog moves forward, and it's just really bad for him. So bad. Mm. Oh my god. We can kill his front line again. We're gonna drain this with our amber hides. And we're kinda just gonna win. <laughs> just like this. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised that we managed to win the first game, even though... Like, we actually had some terrible misplays. Um, eventually, his units cancelled out with mine, and then he doesn't have a front line. So that's what led to his downfall. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play Beast and Ubus. Yeah, we'll see. Add an extra unit type. We got frogs. Windmaker dies. Oh, it doesn't die. Very interesting. I'll use I'll use the windmaker as oh wow okay <laughs> it got confused and moved forward. I'll use the windmaker as um as another unit type because it's a rodent. So now we're going to have one, two, three, four unit types, and hopefully it kills this uh, rodent. And then deal three here. Yep, there it is. A lot of damage. <laughs> so yeah, Ubus is really strong when uh, he doesn't have any other opponent, um, other units, because then his units wouldn't be able to soak up all the damage. So yeah, it's just a matter of time right now. He's really screwed. Debug. I can convert this guy. He's gonna be very sad. And then I'll I'll play witches inside here, so there's gonna be a three strength on his base. Or actually, let's see what we got. Yeah, still a better play. So we'll put the three strength on his base, and then just convert this and make him really sad. <laughs> yeah, like when you get your board control. And um, your Venomfall on the board, it's just, you just get so much control and so much value. So, like, that's where my deck shines. 
when I have this massive lead. Which I guess in hindsight isn't like all that great. You'd probably want a deck that can still do very well even when it's behind. Which this cut which this deck can, but not as great as other decks like the the many ironclad decks that these guys use. Because like even if they're behind and they can't get their front line up, like they would still have siege assembly to like attack the base and stuff. Or having the push and pull mechanics. Why did he should have just Okay. Eh, okay. That's okay. But, um, he's locked. Uh, five, nine. Yeah. He's screwed. GG. I love that combo. It's so great. It's actually so great. So yeah, uh, the last match we had with this guy, he actually beat me once. But here we got to, we managed to pull off the 2-0. Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing he can do. What's he gonna do here? Wow, wow, okay. I am I am genuinely impressed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he has uh he has one damage. Um we'll move this away. Five plus four is nine. Hmm. He's dead. <laughs> he used his flaming stream already here, so there's nothing he could do. He also used his windmakers. Nothing he could do. We need to give him the shake. And yeah, that's a quick 2-0. So we are one step closer to bringing it to the finals. We just have to um, battle uh, Taco G again. And hopefully it goes better than last time. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. He also hasn't been active though, so it, we might not even get to play him. We will see. And if that's the case, then I automatically move up because I won. Like, um, I think... Brain Coke and I have the only losers bracket game. So yeah, we're looking good right now. So um I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys later.